little tappy taps. Tappy tap, tappy tap, tappy tap. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator, and welcome to Abomination Tower. An extremely ragey, platforming roguelike, where you are a headless corpse, and you make your way to the top of this tower, which I think is endless, so you'll never make it to the top. But the fun is in the journey, isn't it? Let's find out. You unlock different heads. The butt one is save my butt, which basically gives you an extra hit. The demon one is speed demon, which uh, increases your speed. And those are the only ones I've unlocked so far. <laughs> you collect eyes to unlock different heads. And uh, it controls a lot like Super Meat Boy. The, the platforming is pretty tight. Uh, and you'll need it to be that way because in some of the later stages it gets extremely crazy. The traps don't uh, seem like too much special. You do get enemies a little later in levels, but oh, well, you gotta do some tricksy there. Whoop. But the enemies don't do much either. How am I gonna do this? Ugh. Yeah, it takes a while to get the controls completely down. You can play on easy, which will give you ten lives to get through. And there's not really a deduction, a point deduction or anything. But you want to be cool and play on normal, right? You're a normal guy, not a little baby, right? Tell me, oh, oh, damn it! I lost my save my butt because I hit the spikes. Okay, damn. I don't know what those eye things do. I'm pretty scared to find out. Alright. So the stage has changed since my last run, which is a good and a bad thing. Really, you're, you're getting a new experience every time, but also you aren't allowed to practice on anything. Damn it. I pressed the jump button in my mind. Yeah, there's no practice, so what you see is what you get. You can either do it or you can't. The music is a bit repetitive. It is one song that has like a nice creepy progression that fits the aesthetic well. However, uh, it's only one song, <laughs> which presents a problem. Alrighty, up we go. I've also only found this one level. I've completed three stages so far. Been trying really hard to get to five, but even on easy mode, it's not that easy. Oh, I'm 75th on the leaderboard. That's nice. Hooray for me. I'm gonna take save my butt again, because I will need my butt saved. Level design suffers. Because you can kind of skip around some of the traps, which I assume might have been done for speedrunning purposes. But, like, that right there. I guess it's for newbies or something. I I have a hard time putting my finger on why, why that choice was made. But, not bad. It does add a little freedom to what would otherwise be a pretty, uh straightforward platformer. Oh wow. Okay. That's just fine. I don't find it to be a very innovative game. It is your standard platformer, albeit you collect a bunch of eyes to unlock heads, which brings me to replayability, and that kind of includes the high score thing as well because I do get a little obsessed with high scores. So, the high scores and the unlockable heads will keep you playing this game for a good while. And it is relatively cheap. So, even if the graphics don't stand up exceedingly well, I do like the sound effects. Like when you get hit as uh, the butt, you kind of do a little fart when the butt goes away. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> I, I didn't do it on purpose. 
But, uh, yeah, it just, just happened that way. How fortuitous. Okay, got the... Damn it! I died. <sighs> There's not really a story. You're an abomination climbing a tower. <laughs> Basically, the title is all the story that you get. They do have a little cutscene thing in the beginning, but as far as lore or story goes, it scores relatively low. Which is just fine, you know. The fun factor is in how quick the gameplay is, much like Super Meat Boy. And I appreciate the fact that it's skill-based. Albeit there's a pretty steep difficulty curve, which you may not have noticed yet between level 1 and 2. But you will definitely notice it between levels 1 and 3. I also enjoy the length of the levels, like, they're long enough to get you relatively invested in your character, the well-being of your little abomination, uh, but they're short enough that you don't feel too taxed even with just, DUDE, <laughs> with just one life, one life to live, or two if you have a butthead. And I always have. Since I was a child, they've told me. You're quite a little butthead. And I said, yes, I know. That's what they've always told me. Alright, there's the end. We've got eight eyes, which means nothing. But, um... I got 190 not, 191 on my best high run through level 2. The tint is different on level 3, but as you can see, the tile set's relatively the, t the same, so... Um, it doesn't win any major points for graphics or anything like that. But it is an extremely cheap game that I, did, I do find pretty enjoyable. Wow. Even if the difficulty curve is kind of steep. What's that? What the fuck? What the fuck, Chuck? How am I supposed to do this? Okay. Oh, damn it. Oh. The taxing part is when you die, you need to start over at level 1 again and you lose all of your eyes. All of your progress is gone, basically. Whoop. But I want to get 10 eyes to see if I can unlock the next fart <laughs> head. It's not looking too hot at the moment, but all we need to do is finish. The spikes are pretty close together. That little ghoul crawling on the floor. Oh, and then they put the hallway like super far apart. They're mean, I tell you. Doop doop. Okay. Alright, alright. This one shoots shorter. Go! Yes! I can smell it! Freedom! That hallway looks horrible. Little tappy taps. Tappy tap. Tappy tap. Tappy tap. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go now. Here we go now. Alright. Got one life to live. Gotta do the thing! Oh my! Oh! Oh lord! Oh Jesus! I shouldn't have noticed that I only had one life. Okay. It's fine. It's gonna be... It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. I love it. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Up! Over! Around! Do it! You must not fail! Little abomination. You were created for one purpose. To climb this tower. That nobody knows exists, or even cares. Oh, that's so mean. Why do they... It's a mean game. But as you can see, it's not unfair. Which is one reason that I bash a lot of games. It's just artificial, artificial difficulty. But this game does it right. Oh my god, there's the exit. Jump! Go! Yeah! Yeah! Level 3. It's going to get harder. Uh, 114 on the scoreboard. How many people play this thing? It's 
probably like 125. I am the lowest tier! Goodbye. Alright. One life. We can do it. Oh, sweet jump. My gamer intuition was on point there. Who knew? It's never happened before, except that one time. That nobody remembers. Oh no! No, 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 no. The controls are a little floaty. I can't give it a perfect for controls. But I will call it almost perfect. Okay! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! 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 Mm, oh! <laughs> I lost my butt head early. I think level 4 is going to be the last, uh, last thing we see. But maybe that's okay. We broke some new ground. I'll probably be back to this game. Why is that so terrible? Alright. It's more of like a mind thing. What is that? What is that gonna do? What's it gonna do? Why does it look mean? It just wants me dead, that's all. That's all. It just wants me dead. Okay, everything's fine. Up, up, up. Do not hurt. Do not hurt self. I've gone into like Zen mode with this game. Alright, we gotta do it. Oh my. Oh my. My oh my. Leonard Nimoy. He's here. Oh fart! I fucked it up. Well friends, this has been Abomination Tower. I'd say it's a fairly average game. Uh it's it's almost above average with the high score system and whatnot, but it does fall a little short for me. Um, but you can tell a lot of love went into it, the humor's there, and I, I really do appreciate the review copy. I need to establish a new, sto a new, uh, system with the 100 point rating system that I recently implemented on my channel. There are two sections to this system, gameplay and aesthetic. The gameplay section consists of controls. Fun Factor, Difficulty, Replayability, and Innovation. The aesthetic consists of graphics, music, sound effects, story and lore, and level design. So level design kind of incorporates uh, how intuitive the game is as well. If, if you could play it without a tutorial then it's obviously going to get a 10 out of 10 because the level was well designed enough that you didn't need to be instructed how to get through it. With all that exposition said, I would like to give Abomination Tower a 57 out of 100. It is slightly short of above average, but I do believe it's a pretty solid game, especially for the price, and definitely worth a look. I might even be back to it again for Halloween or something like that. Um, I will break down the scoring system for you. I would like to point out, again, that the controls are good and tight. The fun factor is... I'm sorry, the controls are a 9 out of 10. <laughs> the fun factor is a 7 out of 10. The difficulty is kind of a debated thing. I enjoy difficulty with my games. I believe it increases the replayability. So I'm going to give this game an 8 out of 10 for difficulty. I'm going to give the replayability an 8 out of 10. Innovation, I will give this game a 3 out of 10. I rather like the, the power-ups with the different heads, but it's not really an innovative platformer. It's been seen before. Uh, however, it is pretty fun. In the aesthetic department, the graphics are a 5 out of 10 totally average. The music has a nice progression, but it is only one song, so I will give it a 4 out of 10. The sound effects are fun and fitting. I rather enjoy the, the little fart noises and the squishy sound the guy makes when he slaps against the wall, a la Super Meat Boy. <laughs> so I will give the 
sound effects, a 7 out of 10. Story. Nada. 0 out of 10. I don't... what? Level design gets a 6 out of 10, simply because you can skip some obstacles, which I don't completely understand as a choice. But, uh... Make, they didn't want to make it completely linear, which is good. But... I believe that maybe the game suffers a little bit because of it. Like you can just kind of cheese your way through a couple of rooms. Although it is random which ones are generated, so... Oh yeah, that factors into replayability as well. I hope you guys will enjoy this new system. If you like the pros and cons things more, or if you think I should incorporate the two together, then let me know in the comments. And as always, if you did enjoy, I would appreciate if you liked, comment, and or subscribed. And thank you to the people who have already subscribed, because all of you do help this channel to get noticed, and uh, I'd be nothing without all of you. So, thank you so much, as always. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been Abomination Tower, 57 out of 100. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, friends. Bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.